I was hitting it terrible last year. Week in, week out, every week was a grind. You know, I, didn't, I had no idea where the ball was going, to be honest. Made a swing coach change right around September, October. Um, and then just little by little, I saw my swing improving. And by that last stretch uh, in South Africa, I was playing pretty, pretty well. Hadn't seen the results in Hong Kong or Mauritius or the SA Open, and obviously played really well at the Alfred Dunhill. David Lipsky joined the European Tour in 2014 and didn't take long to prove his potential, winning big at the European Masters. He's found it hard to build on that surprise success. That was until the Alfred Dunhill Championship in South Africa late last year. I was driving a lot better in play and that, that's sort of what, what I had issues with and my wedge play and my short game were really good. I wasn't that nervous, you know, I, I was just excited to be in that moment and to give myself a chance to win, which I hadn't done in a long time. 72nd hole hit driver and nine iron into this par five. I have no idea how the ball went so far off the tee, whether it's adrenaline or a good, good bounce, but you know, it's one shot lead going to the last to an island green, especially on like a, a hole like that, water everywhere, slopey, you know, hitting it in two and just having a three putt for the win was, was nice. Four years after collecting his first European Tour title, high in the mountains of Switzerland, David Lipsky wins for a second time. This is such a crazy game. Even when things seem like the darkest, you know, it's just around the corner, you can win, you can, you know, change your season, change your career. By winning the European Masters back in 2014, Lipsky joined a select group of US players to have won a regular European Tour event. He's not the only American to have cut his teeth away from the home comforts of the PGA and Web.com tours though. Major champion Brooks Kepka used it as a springboard for success back home. The value of playing across the world is clear to see. It's probably not to the same extent as it was when I was first traveling. You know, the novelty of you know each place sort of wears off. You know, I, I still enjoy it. I still like you know meeting new people in, in every new city I go to. Being able to travel the world is something that you know not too many people get to experience. So you know, I'm, I'm really lucky, and you know, I'm I'm grateful for this opportunity. Life away from family and friends can take its toll, and Lipsky's decision to now base himself in Las Vegas, despite European commitments, is a sign of his desire to play more regularly in the States. That would be the goal. It's home for me. You know, it's tough. You know, being on the road out here four weeks in a row, you know, if I miss a cut, I'm staying out here and I'm, staying, I'm sitting in a hotel room just staring at the ceiling, pretty much where a lot, a lot of guys out here can you know, fly back home, they can see their fa friends and family, they can re relax and reset. So that's, that's, having that opportunity to do that in the United States, it's one I would definitely take if I, if I had the opportunity.